so it's a bit windy today. <laughs> I'm gonna hate heading back. Well, hello, paddlers, welcome back to my channel. Which is something I forgot to say yesterday. I should clarify, yesterday I went to Selby with Bobby. Yeah, you'll see that video probably next. I ain't edited it yet. But uh, yeah, anyhow, back on the river roll again today. Right. I've got the tide with me as I'm setting off, and I've also got a backwind, so that should be fun on the way back. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the tide against me and a headwind. But uh, depending on how our time it, because uh, I've got four and a half hours in the tide turns, so depending on where I go, or what I do. Another gorgeous hot day. We're lucky we're getting three of them this week. All right. We haven't had any for about eight, nine days. It's just been rain and thunderstorms. And, uh, and we've had three, getting three good days. Wednesday was nice, couldn't get out shopping. Uh, Thursday, that was when we went to Selby and today. And uh, today's Friday, but the weekend ain't too bad. But looks like uh, very, very strong winds though, so probably not. We've got about 10 to 10, ooh, 10 to 12 mile an hour winds today, which is ideal, but it won't be all over the place. All right, like I'm in a like sheltered spot now. But uh, yeah, so back out again, having a good time, enjoying the weather while I can. So I'll uh, talk to you later on. calm in this little spot first of all did you see them kids on the bridge well that lad on the bridge and there were some others that had been that were swimming sitting in the water a lot more polite than the ones me and Bobby encountered at Selby uh, they actually threw bricks at me or two bricks to be exact and uh, I caught it can't see behind me, tell me to duck if it, <laughs> I actually uh, got it on the camera where there was a brick that just missed me over my right shoulder and one that went further back but you actually see it on the camera I'm throwing it, I'll show you that a little sods I mean they don't realise do they, I mean as silly a, or as fun as they, oh let's chuck a brick at that guy in the kayak Right, or even a pebble or a stone or whatever it was, you get me? That hits you on the back of the head from off a big bridge and it was a lot bigger than that one. You'll see it when I show you the video. That hits you in the back of the head. Probably it will just hurt and maybe cut your head. However, there's always that chance if it hits you in the right spot, it could actually knock you out and you could fall in and there's always that chance of drowning. Oh, big fish. Big fish down there. No point turning the camera, you'll never see them. 
Yeah, there's always that chance, so why kids are that stupid, I don't know. I mean, when I was a lad, I was a prat, but I'd never dream about throwing a brick at somebody, you know what I mean, in a kayak or anywhere. We used to do a game called Knock Off Ginger. Right. We just used to run up to somebody's door, knock on it and run away, you know what I mean? It sounds boring, but to us it was amazing, amazing fun. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, I blame the parents. Now, a lot of people say things like that, but I do, all right? I mean, I was a sod growing up, all right? But I knew where the line was, you get me? Like, I knew you do not steal other people's cars. You do not break into other people's houses. We weren't rich when I was a bane. Well, we were never rich, but when I was a bane, we weren't rich, we were out like that, all right? My mum was working, my dad was working, and my dad sometimes was working till two, three o'clock in the morning. And then back at work, right, at eight o'clock in the morning, you get me? He worked bloody hard. And my mum worked hard, she was a nurse. Right? And uh, not a full-time nurse, because, well, she had two kids, so just while we was in school. Uh, and occasional nights when my dad was off early. But I digress. The bottom line is it's not as if we were brought up with a silver spoon. Uh, and we used to run a bit wild out in the streets and stuff. But we knew where the line was because we was taught where the line was. But now I won't say all kids because I've got uh, a boy and a girl, neighbours to me. And they're wonderful. They're only young. I believe you're looking at round about the age of 10 to 11-ish, right? But they are great, great kids. But uh, th then you get the ones that just seem completely and utterly out of control. That water was quite nice, did it? <laughs> quite nice indeed. Yeah, and you get the ones that are just completely and utterly out of control, like you'll see in the video when I post it, the Selby one. But, uh, yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, yeah, I digress. My new boat's coming next week. Yeah, it's Friday today, all right, and it should be here. All right, when I spoke to them on the phone, they said it only. It it could be could be Tuesday, could be Wednesday. All right, because I rung up just to find out. And I'm hoping Tuesday, because Wednesday the weather is not too bad, but the rest of the week is bloody horrible. So I'm hoping t Tuesday, excuse me, so I can get out on Wednesday and give it a little, uh, I nearly said test flight then, give it a test flight. <laughs> I hope it's not that windy. But yeah, so new boat's coming, so I'll be able to give that a little, uh, a little paddle. But yeah, apart from that, not a lot to tell you. Oh! new boat yeah i will mention cost of the new boat yes i know this goes into a bag of wheels all right but there's a lip you'll understand what i mean in a minute i'm planning on uh, heading to york all right into the river through the city center right. now there's nowhere to park right near the river but there is a car park all right uh, a good distance away let's say Right, a reasonable distance away. Now with my pack here, yeah, I could drag it down, no problem, but where you, you actually get down, from what I could see, there's a, a pretty big drop. So, there are other places you could go to in areas around York, but where I want to go, right, it's a bit an awkward, awkward spot to get to with a pack yak. However, with this new boat, it'll be perfect. So, that's uh, one thing I've got in mind. We'll be going back to Selby again, even though you haven't seen the video yet. Quite enjoyed that. Yeah, went with Bobby. It's not a long paddle, because where you start from, let's say, about two miles to your left, you hit a lock, and about two miles to your right, you hit a lock. So, it's not like a long paddle. But it's a different river it's different it it was nice so we'll be going back there again at some point and uh yeah so that's what's happening with me 
got York coming up at some point this year. Next year I'm planning on Scotland again. <laughs> Actually, next year I'm not planning anything to do with Scotland. I'm just going to pack everything and go. And I have found another lock. It's about three hours north, northeast, northeast of Loch Lomond. So it'll be about a nine hour trip this time. But uh, what I'm going to try and do uh, is rig the car so I can get some sort of sleeping system in the car. So if I can't find anywhere to paddle and I can't find anywhere to pitch my tent, I've got an, a third option, you get me? Well, a second option for sleeping. I've got the tent and then the car as options. You get me? So I'm trying to cover the bases this time, but that'll uh, be for next year. Right? Because, uh, I mean, I've spent about a thousand quid on gear for Scotland, I did, so I might as, I might as well end up going. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that's all I've got to tell you today. So I can't think about else, but I'm off up to... Oh, that tide's moving fast and that wind is blowing. It's going to be a bloody nightmare going back, I'll tell you. It's going to be horrible. But it's warm, it's nice, so uh, who cares? Yeah, I'm going up to Mount Rockmore. I'm going to stop up there and have a coffee. And if there's out else to tell you, I'll let you know. But apart from that, that's just about everything. Yeah, watch out for that video with the kids throwing the brick at me. You actually see it. Uh, I'll, I'll slow it down, right? Because as I turn the camera around, the brick is thrown and it's the water. It's almost at the same time. But if you slow the speed down, you see exactly what you see them throwing. You get me? And the second one, which was a worse shot. <laughs> uh oh. I'd love to swear right now, but I'm not going to. Anyhow, yes, yeah, so I'll leave it there for now. And if there's out else, I'll come back to you while I'm having a coffee. It's a bit windy today. <laughs> I'm gonna hate heading back. <sighs> Trying to make sure my left foot's in a good steady space before doing this. <sighs> Which it's not, my left foot's wobbly. <laughs> Oh, Berlin. 